looking just a little bit dishevelled. It's always the way, isn't it? I actually was happy with how my hair looked this morning. I was having a good hair day and of course I get off the train in London and it absolutely pours. And then I realised when I got into the room that I didn't bring any of my hair tools with me. Not my Dyson, not my curlers, not my straighteners. I don't know how I quite managed that. That's going to be interesting over the next few days. I'm also looking very tired this morning. I didn't sleep particularly well last night and I have a feeling I won't be catching up on much sleep over the next few days. So rewind, I just got down to London and checked into the hotel. We are staying at the Melia White House, I believe it's called. Um, best location for a hotel. I'm here with two of my really good friends, Alana and Alex. I know that you've met them both before and we are here for a trip that we planned a while ago. We've very kindly been given a PR stay at this hotel. I can't believe I've never stayed here before. It's the best location. It's just around the corner from Euston, which is where I get the train into from Manchester. But then also we're about a five minute walk from the heart of Marlebone, which is probably, it's definitely one of my favorite areas of London, really lovely shopping. It's a bit like the King's Road, which is more where I used to live, but I love like the little boutique shops. It's just a really gorgeous area. I think if I ever was to move back to London, I would possibly like to live in Marlebone. But it's also about a 15 minute walk to Selfridges and Oxford Street. Um, so potentially very dangerous for three girls on a girl's trip, um, but the best location. Anyway, we have a very busy, very fun few days. I won't sit and chat for ages because I'm gonna take you along for all of it anyway. Sorry, there's a cleaner cleaning upstairs if you can hear the noise. Um, but just to give you a really brief overview of the plan for the next few days. This afternoon, Alana and I are going to do a bit of shopping to get some outfits potentially for this evening because this evening we have got Magic Mike booked. This is something that we booked, um, Alana, Alex and I booked at like a Katie Loxon event at the end of last year definitely after a few glasses of wine. And Alex had been before and just said it is the most fun girls night. Alex actually booked the tickets for us all there and then and we've just been looking forward to it for the last couple of months. I'm pretty sure you can film in Magic Mike so that's gonna be very fun for all of us later. And then tomorrow Alex has to head off so Alana and I are just gonna have a really lovely chilled girly day probably end up doing more shopping won't we um but just going for lunch and grabbing coffee and all of that sort of stuff and then tomorrow evening we've just got a gorgeous chilled girly dinner it's going to be so lovely and it's so funny how these things work out because it's just when we booked it back in the end of last year obviously i didn't realize i didn't know at the time that kenny was leaving um and i really feel like you know two months on I'm starting, it's starting to get a little bit harder. So this just couldn't have come at a more perfect time. It's so nice to be having some girl time and just doing some really fun, silly things together. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. So let's go see if Alana's ready to do some shopping. I bought two little top options, both the kind of tops that I've not worn in a really long time, but I just felt like wearing something a bit more fun tonight. I feel like the later you get into your 20s, the harder it is to know what to wear or what you'll feel comfortable wearing because I spend so much of my life now, as you know, in dog walking clothes or pajamas or knitwear or just really big, comfy, like home kind of outfits. So then when it comes to actually going out on a girl's night, I almost can't remember what it is that I wear, what I like to wear, what I feel good in. And I also think what it is, is that the last time that I was like regularly going out and like always going for dinners, always like going out to bars and things like that, I was in my early 20s really, which feels like a lifetime ago now because just, I don't know, I think obviously I've met Kenny since, we've bought a house, we've got a dog. Um, so yeah, I always just have a bit of like a identity crisis when it comes to what to wear for a night out because I still want to feel like good and young and all of those things, but it just feels so far out of my comfort zone now when it used to be, you know, all I would wear, all I would do when I used to live in London is obviously work all week and then be so excited to plan my outfit and wear something like, really cute for the weekend. But anyway, really long story. So a really long way of saying that I bought a few different options for tonight. To first things first, I bought this really simple little tiny, tiny crop top that I would obviously wear underneath something. This is from the Frankie shop. It doesn't look like much at all. Um, but when I tried it on, both Alana and I 
and were surprised it's just such a nice fit i think because it has this elastic at the back it's just like a really flattering nice fit and it's like a satiny sort of material i've been looking for a while now for a really high quality staple timeless black blazer with more of like a boxy oversized fit and i know that people go crazy for the frankie shop blazers and i do think they look gorgeous on other people and i've tried them on so many times expecting that one of these times i'll love them as much on me as i do on other people but it just i just don't and i have to say quality wise the frankie shop blazers are about 350 pounds and in my opinion they're just not a 350 pound blazer um so i did try it on again today but it was still a no so in the end zara really did save the day i have to be honest when i tried this on next to the frankie shop blazer i couldn't really tell much difference and i think this was about 50 pounds um, rather than 350 so I got this in a size large to sort of give it that big oversized feel so I'd wear that over the top but I did also buy another top option from House of CB these buttons obviously do up but it's so fiddly with long nails um, so I've just left them for now and then it is a little bit open here I do really like the lace detail around here I don't think I've actually tried this on yet so I'm not sure um, if I try it on later, I will let you know. Again, I would just wear this with my black blazer and then my black Massimo GT trousers, which I honestly wear to death because what is so funny is Alex has made us all promise to wear trousers, not skirts or dresses because at Magic Mike, if you've never seen it, um, they pull random people onto the stage. So honestly, God forbid, they can't pull you up onto stage if you're wearing a dress or a skirt because everyone would see everything so Alex has made us promise to wear trousers just in case I really hope one of the girls gets pulled on stage we'll see or oh, not me Alana used to be a dancer as well so I feel like she could probably give them a run for their money so that'd be really fun when we were in Selfridges I finally about 18 months later than everybody else treated myself they're not actually sambas they are I don't know how you say this word so let me just show you these ones um and I just love this color I've seen it on a few people now and it's just such a me color and they are so comfortable because they have this arch support and Alana wears hers to death and she sold me on them so I got them in that color and then of course ended up getting them in another color as well um I really like this color it's like an off-white creamy sort of color which I thought as we come into spring I'll get a lot of wear out of because I'll go with more like the lighter neutral colors so that's everything that I got we were shopping for a good few hours and fingers crossed it was successful because I won't really know you know when you need to have a shower do your hair do your makeup and then try on the outfits to really know if you like them or not so we'll see how it goes later I am going to jump in the shower and start getting ready and I'll speak to you before we go okay, we've had a really quick turnaround and got changed for dinner I have not worn an outfit like this for a really long time I was saying to Lana I feel like I am 18 again or at uni going out because all of this out just got all my trousers that i always always wear these are from massimo duty and then this little tiny like bralette just excuse any of the chaos that i've caused in this room getting ready i think the other girls are ready now too
Good morning everyone. Let's just say I am not feeling the best I've ever felt this morning. We possibly had a little bit too much fun last night, um, but it really was truly just like the ultimate girls night. We all had the best time and it is so worth how we feel this morning. It was a bit of a struggle getting down to breakfast this morning. The girls did have to get me there by force, get some toast in me, um, but now I'm feeling much more myself it's not even so much that we drank a lot i'm just so bad on no sleep these days but anyway i've tried to pull myself together a little bit this morning i still need to get changed i've just been wearing these because they are so comfortable but i'm just going to pop on some jeans or something um and then we're going to go and get some fresh air it is a beautiful sunny day in london there is nothing better than london in the sun so we're going to head out we're going to have a wander around we're going to grab some lunch um and just have a really nice chilled girls day and then as i said yesterday we've got a really lovely dinner booked this evening We had such a lovely afternoon, the weather was gorgeous and we just wandered around Marlebone and went for a really, really lovely lunch. Where did we go again? Um, oh, it's the pasta place, Lena Stores, which I only really know as a pasta place. They're renowned for having like gorgeous, gorgeous pasta. Um, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be some of the best pasta in London, but I didn't realise, at least the one in Marlebone anyway, has like a deli in there for lunchtime and they just had so many gorgeous salads and things like that. So we had a really lovely lunch, all the cups of tea, all the matches, anything to give us a little bit of energy. It is taking everything to not lie down and have a nap, quite honestly. Um, I'm just so tired. We did get in very late last night, or at least very late for me. I'm like a tucked into bed at half past 10 kind of girly these days. But I'm really pleased that we did manage to pull ourselves together and have a really lovely day in the sun today. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit of time to chill, um, try not to close my eyes and fall asleep for the rest of the evening. And then we're gonna get ready for a really, really lovely dinner this evening. We're going to a place called Louis in Covent Garden. Alana's planned it all um, just for like a really nice chilled girls night, just the two of us, which I'm so excited for. I feel like it's what we need after last night. Yeah, I'm just gonna rest my head for a few minutes and then I'll see you when we're getting ready for dinner. Testing my memory. So yeah. I've got the dress from ASOS. Yeah, gorgeous. I've got a standard Zara blazer. I think yeah. everyone has one of these. Yeah. Is it, the, is it the same as this? It Do could you know be. I like? Your blazer looks so nice. I <laughs> yeah, it, it could be the same, same one. one. I think this is in a size yeah, large, so maybe. Yours is and I've worn mine to death, so. Yeah. And then I've got my, I think it's called Atelier August. Okay, gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's a really cute, nice, like, um, classic shape. Mm, yeah, and yeah, heels from Zara as well. We got these yesterday. Yesterday. And they actually lasted the evening. Very comfortable. I got these from Zara yesterday. I've actually not ended up wearing them, but I thought they were quite, like, a good classic, again, like a timeless slingback kind of shape, which I'm sure I'll get loads of wear out of. I think everyone needs a pair of them in the wardrobe. Yeah, and Zara's really good because they're, like, £35, so if you wear them on a night out and... Um, Anything happens to them, it's not the end of the world. Good morning, everyone. It is a few days later. I'm back in Manchester. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day today it's so sunny it's actually been a gorgeous week um i'm really hoping this is like the first signs of spring heading our way because we could all do with some sunshine but yes it's a few days later it may have taken me a good few days to recover from the weekend i am not 21 anymore is what i've discovered and it's not even that we were drinking very much i mean goodness knows what would happen to me if i tried to drink as much as I used to drink when I was at uni and when I very first moved to London. I honestly think it would take me a good month to actually recover from that. I mean, we didn't really drink much at all. A few glasses of wine here and there, don't get me wrong, it was a girls weekend, but it was the sleep. I'm just so 
hopeless these days without getting my full eight to ten hours of sleep anyway i wanted to pick up with you because i don't think i've spoken to you since i had my surprise engagement dinner and that was just the most special special evening i'm so grateful to have such incredible friends i had no idea no idea at all alana had told me we had like a PR kind of dinner booked at this gorgeous restaurant in Covent Garden called Louis, which I was so looking forward to, but very much expecting just a really, really chilled dinner, just Alana and I. Um, so much so that when we actually walked in, two of my best friends were sat there, Ella and Molly. To begin with, my brain couldn't process it. I was like, why are there two girls sat on a table? And then obviously I realized they've actually got a hilarious video of me. Truly, I was saying to the girls, I was just as surprised then as when I actually got engaged because I just had no idea, no idea. And I feel like normally I pick up on these things. Um, but yeah, it was so, so lovely. Ella bought me this gorgeous Gigi and Olive box and it's the first thing that I own with the word bride on so it's really special and I think what made it so special for me is that obviously Kenny left a couple of weeks after we got engaged so as incredible as our engagement was and as amazing as those couple of weeks were since then it hasn't really felt real that I'm engaged or that I'm getting married um, it still doesn't feel I was saying to my mum when I walk past you know like bridal shops and things like that I still feel that feeling of like oh yeah one day that will be me rather than oh that's me right now so it was just really really lovely and it made me feel really special um so yeah it was a gorgeous weekend and i'm so grateful to have such great friends we are in the car this morning because i'm on my way to see adele to get my nails done then i have a pilates class which i'm doing at like midday today and then this afternoon my mum and i are going shopping because i am actually back down to london um the day after tomorrow because i've got this big sort of event at the natural history museum on thursday and i've got a gorgeous 16 arlington dress for the event but i don't have any shoes that go with it and i don't really have a bag that goes either so mum and i are going to pop out and do some shopping i've also just run out of a few of my essentials including my eyebrow pencil so if my eyebrows are a bit dodgy today i'm using a really old pencil that i don't get along with so i just thought i would finish off the vlog today and take you shopping with us this afternoon, but let's go get our nails done. Today was an arms and abs class, and I always, for some reason, kid myself that these are slightly easier, but actually I have the weakest arms in the world, so they're probably harder, if anything, but it's a different kind of hard, isn't it? It's like a burn so much, you cannot do another rep, rather than your heart's racing and you're sweating and things like that, which is what I get when we do full body or lower body anyway i got my nails done i went for like a little french i think they are so cute i absolutely love them because i have this event on thursday i just wanted to go for something really neutral that would go with everything and i feel like a nude nail or a french nail goes with everything because my dress is quite out there the brief for the event on thursday was like red carpet style glam everyone that i've spoken to so far is really going for it in terms of dressing up so it's kind of thing you very rarely get the chance to do um so i thought i would go for it anyway i'm gonna head home i'm gonna grab some lunch um quickly get changed and then it's time to go out shopping it is the most gorgeous day so i think i'm gonna go into town rather than the Trafford center today because it's very very rare or it feels very rare that we get sun in manchester so i want to make the most of it everyone i have just got back home it is quite late it is 9 15 actually um oh alana's just texting me mum and i ended up doing quite a bit more shopping than we anticipated quite literally shopped until we dropped and then headed to dinner we went to dinner at a place called well i'm gonna put to the santai but show show i'm not sure um but it's lovely and i they've got a couple in manchester but i don't know whether it's like a not sure if it's in other cities in the uk but they do really really good ramen so we have that now i'm home in my robe i've got my 
Rue cup, as I call it, my Chihuahua cup. Um, and I just thought I'd very quickly show you some of the bits that I bought today. I'm not going to do a full try on haul because actually the vlog that I start tomorrow will be my next London vlog and I will probably wear most of these clothes on that trip so you'll see them all then so I won't bother trying them on now but I just thought I'd very quickly show you. I'm just going to go in the order that I pull things out of this bag. Funnily enough I actually always get questions about these vest tops and I'm not surprised because they are the best vest tops in the world. They are so comfortable and they just have the best fit. So I got two new white ones, a really lovely like light grey one which I think will be really useful and then just a black one so just the staple colours really. They have from H&M but H&M do quite a few different types of vest top and none of them are as good as this one so I will find this exact one and I'll make sure that I've linked it in my description um I think they're like six pounds each seven pounds 6.99 each and they are just the ones I've had I've had them for years and um they're so good but I would say size down because they're super stretchy and they're really flattering when they're tight so if you're not a big boob girl these honestly have enough support just in them if you get them tight enough so I love them for that. I also did get this gorgeous red jacket from Mango um, which I think you'll have seen me trying on. It is so out there for me I never really buy things that are colourful but it just caught my eye and both mum and I agreed it's like a gorgeous boxy fit. I did get mine in a size large though so if you want it to have a similar sort of fit to how it looked on me um, then I would definitely size up. Again, I'll just link all of this. I'll make sure it's all on my, it will all be on my LTK. So I'll put a big generic link to my LTK. You can put it here, I'll put it in the description. And then I'll make sure I've linked all of this stuff and you'll be able to find it. It'll all be really easy on there. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Give me one sec. Okay, we're back. But I'm also mortified because I've realized this big pile of laundry that I just carried up and dumped on my shelf there, everyone can see. And I also think there's some wrappers from clothes that I'm about to show you on there. So I'm sorry, please excuse that. Looks so messy. Okay, so this is so random for me. This is also from Mango. I have to say, I don't know that I've ever bought a high street handbag before. I'm not fussy about most things, definitely not fussy. But for some reason, I never normally love like just high street handbags. But today I was in Mango. I just saw this little navy bag. And I think the fact that it was navy is what got me because I just, I don't own any navy navy bags and I feel like I'd love to be a navy girl and I really like the detailing. I just feel like it's a very practical, useful size for just when you're like popping out um, and I need to carry my camera, my lip gloss and that sort of thing. I'm thinking at this time of night you probably can't really see the colour very well um, but how much was this? £30. I mean I just thought for £30. I did just really like it so we'll see how we go with that one and then I also bought this bag this is very random for me it is not like any handbag I would normally buy again it's also from Mango um, but this I have a very specific purpose for I think I'm going to wear this to the event that I've got on Thursday because I don't own any nude handbags and on the whole I don't feel like I'd use a nude handbag very much so it's not something that I really want to like invest in um, so I just thought I'd get like a high street handbag and it'll probably come in handy and it's a really good size as well it's like handheld it's not big it's not too small I can fit all of my stuff in there my cameras and all of that stuff and then I got these which I'm really really happy with so I have a pair um similar to this that are Gucci but they're black and I wear them to death in the summer like I wear them with every outfit I absolutely adore them black is not that summery so I'd love um, a cream pair but I tried these on and both mum and I agreed that they actually are a really nice shape and they're a really soft leather um, so I feel like you won't have to wear them in too much so I'm going to give them a go see if I can style them up nicely but yeah I thought they were a really nice affordable alternative they were £60 yeah pleased with them and then what else did I get almost everything I bought actually is quite out of character they ended up getting the denim jacket that I tried on I don't know how many years it's been since I've owned a denim jacket something about the cut of this and how it fits and the wire sleeves I just really loved and so did mum to the point where mum's saying that she's definitely going to borrow this from me um it's just like a really chic unique kind of fit I definitely can't do it justice like this um but hopefully you saw maybe a little clip from when I was in there and then also like I said I will definitely be packing this to take down to London with me so I'll try and style it up and I can show it to you again um but really 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 like this that's everything I got let's see how I go with styling it it is possible that things will get returned because normally when I get things home I try and style them in a few different ways and if I can't make it work and if I don't love it then I try and return it because this girl doesn't need any more clothes I don't need clothes for the sake of clothes 
um, especially if I'm not going to wear them. I feel like sitting like this so you can't see this mess, but I guess that's just real life, isn't it? Everyone has to put their laundry away at some point. It looks like I need to do that after this. But on that note, I'm going to head off now because I still need to have a shower. I need to get my makeup off. I need to fake tan um, and get myself ready to head down to London, which is the day after tomorrow. This next London trip is going to be every bit as fun as the one that we just did. However, not as many late nights involved, which is quite good because then I'll be feeling much fresher and I can bring you along for more of what we do. Um, this trip is very much like a wholesome, girly, Pilates and brunch kind of trip with some of my absolute best friends, some of my oldest friends actually. Um, I think some of my friends who you might not have met as well, which will be fun. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. It's really fun to film something a bit different sometimes. And like I said, next week will be another London vlog and then we'll do a home vlog, a big home vlog, packing and getting ready for Thailand. And then I think the vlog after that will probably be traveling to Thailand and seeing Kenny for the first time in three months by then which I'm so excited for. Thank you so so much for watching, thank you for still being my friend despite my messy messy dressing room, we're all just human aren't we? Um, and I can't wait to catch up with you next week, I hope you have the best week ever. I feel so so lucky that I have you all as friends to just share the ins and outs of what goes on in my day-to-day -day life so yeah I'll catch up with you next weekend. Bye guys!